Hey, hey, y'all. Welcome back. This week, it's going to be interesting. I hope everybody got through last week okay. Last week felt like, you know, maybe it was going to be a little heavy for a lot of us. So I hope you made it through okay. This week, I just want to let you know on Tuesday, my podcast is out, All the Things with the Magical Cartographers. We have a new episode that will be out on Tuesday. So make sure to keep an eye out for that. We're starting the conversation about the patriarchy, so you're definitely going to want to be a part of that. And Wednesday, we have the full moon in Capricorn. This full moon is really about the connection between our, you know, cancer energy, our homes, our our safety and stability, our personal lives, meeting up with our external life. Capricorn energy is about where we're going, our careers, our, our goals and plans for the future. And so, you know, just consider this week on the full moon as you are letting things go. Make sure to think about how you can balance your personal life and your professional life or your external life and find some balance there between the two all right so let's give it one last little shuffle and we will start with our spiritual connection card as always cards feel a little sticky today okay all right that's a great start for us so we're starting with the world card there in our health and happiness, we've got the Seven of Wands. Next, for our love and relationships, we've got the Six of Pentacles. In our business and career, we have the Queen of Cups. And for our overall cards, we have the seven of swords okay i mean this already feels a lot lighter <laughs> than last week's this week feels a lot more kind of adventure i guess is the word that i want to use for. internally it looks like we're going to be both planning for the future and thinking about how amazing we are and what we can do with that. And then externally, as we are together with others, it looks like we're gonna be finding ways to share who we are and create community for people and figure out what we need to walk away from. So let's get started with our spiritual connection card is the world here. And this feels the world card is always you know it feels amazing it's a reminder of all the lessons that you've learned all the experiences that you've had you got it all you've been through it all you the good and the bad you, you smoosh it all together inside of you and it just makes you amazing it makes you want to show off who you are and what you are and what you know and so when you're thinking about the ways that you can connect internally to spirit and to your highest self, it, it just remind yourself like, I am freaking amazing. You know, I have been through so much and here I am. I mean, bigger and brighter and bolder than ever. Embrace that. Last week we spent time going within because it, it felt too hard and and now it's like boom we kicked the door in and we're back and like fuck all that i'm i'm here and i, I need to show up i need to tell you who i am and, and let you know how amazing i am so do that please do that i love it all right let's move on to our health and happiness and here we have <laughs> the seven of wands and this again feels like a little bit of an adventure thinking about the things that you've learned the experiences that you've had and taking some stock in in what that is reflect on how you've learned to ground yourself to start to build to start to grow 
And similar to the world card, just really reflect on the fact that I can find happiness in the gifts that I already have. Acknowledge who you are and what you have to offer and, and find comfort in that. Find joy in how wonderful you are and in your strengths and abilities. I feel like especially your strength to see what's next, to see the future, to prepare for what's to come by using all this knowledge you've accumulated. That's where you need to start looking for joy is right there in that acknowledgement. Okay, next let's move on to our love and relationships. And here we have the six of pentacles. Now, this card, when it comes to love and relationships, feels very much like you are starting to find ways to give back. Find ways to give back to the people that are closest to you. It can be in an intimate relationship, but this feels more just like personal relationships. Like there are people in your life who you are finally at a place where you can say, you know, there are ways that I can help you. There are things that I can offer to you. And some people will take it and some won't, but it's gonna make you feel really wonderful to be able to do that, to be able to offer your gifts to people because there really are a lot of people who need it. And so giving yourself the space to do that is really gonna help you to ground and stand in your power, stand in knowing how great you are. All right, next let's move on to our business and career. And here we have the Queen of Cups. So the Queen here is about hanging on to everyone's uh, emotions, being the protector of the community and their feelings. There, there has likely been a lot of uh, emotional energy that is has been stirring up, has been pouring out. And right now you have the ability to hold space for everyone to keep everybody safe to feel what they need to feel we're still in cancer season so uh, emotions are still you know going to be running high the week of the full moon in capricorn and so there is going to be this frustration that a lot of people are going to feel around balancing career and home and you are going to be able to help people with that in ways that you may not even realize right now. You're going to be able to do that for people. So if you notice people are coming to you more often than usual, asking for help more than usual, talking about emotional things with you that maybe that's not normally your jam, just know that there is something about you that people recognize as safe. And that's what they need right now. They need safety from you, however you can offer that to them. So it, it might feel heavy for you, but you have the capacity to hold that for people. All right, last but not least, we have our overall card. And here we have the Seven of Swords. Now, overall this week, we focused a lot on acknowledging how great you are, how awesome you are. Um, Showing that off, sharing your gifts with other people, holding space for other people. And part of what you may find is that you've been telling yourself, you've been thinking or telling yourself that you had to be everything for everybody because they couldn't do it themselves. And you're starting to realize now that you can offer your gifts, you can offer your support and then walk away and let people experience what you've given them. You don't have to stay caught up in people's drama or in their problems in their life. You have gifts that you can give to people and leave them there. And so this week, I really want you to focus on just being amazing, acknowledging how amazing you are, sharing those gifts and thoughts and ideas and, and 
giving of yourself to the world, but recognizing that you can give it and leave it. You don't have to stay. You can leave it there and keep it moving. That's going to be important for you this week. And know that folks are going to be all right when you leave. They're, they're going to make it through. The world's going to keep turning, I promise you. All right? So let me know how this feels for you. I hope this was helpful. Have a wonderful week. Stay magical, y'all.